Well, welcome. Today we're speaking with Alan Thorne, who is the Global Coordinator for the Global Citizens Diploma and an educator at Hong Kong Academy, where she is also the Global Citizenship Coordinator and an IB History Educator. Welcome. It's so wonderful to have you here with us. Thanks, Lottie. I'm so happy to be here. For the educators that are watching this, and they're really passionate about global citizenship or global citizenship education, global competence, but they work in a school that doesn't offer GCD, or maybe their school doesn't have a culture of global citizenship education. What What's a piece of advice that you could give them as they're going through their journey as a global educator? Find a network for yourself. So, you know, the whole network on Twitter um, is fantastic. <laughs> so many like-minded people you know get on a global ed hashtag global citizenship and find the people and build a community so you won't feel alone and also start in your own classroom you know use your standards do the things you need to also make it an opportunity for students to pair and connect to really deeply understand and to act on global challenges you can still do that and meet the curricular goals you know i would say do it and i would throw out there julia fliss as an incredible example of a global collaborator who's just doing stunning things. I think you've touched on something that's so important that comes up all the time in my work with schools and um, a lot of other people that work in the space with schools, which is that global citizenship education or global competence or global learning it's not an add-on it's already there in your curriculum you might need to do some tweaking you might need to do some strengthening you might need to add some technology in but it's all there and so it's about the reframing and the prioritizing one thing i would add um uh, National Geographic actually has incredible free PD for educators and so you can go and do a course there. They have free courses that are at your own pace for digital storytelling that are mm. for teachers and for students and also integrating service learning. Those ones are timed cohorts but they're fantastic and again connecting to Twitter maybe Instagram. So many opportunities up there. So Alan, what are some of the most exciting resources that you have used and found for global citizenship education? Say one of my top favorites is Zoe Wiles' book, The World Becomes What We Teach. It's got the philosophical backing, but it also has concrete examples. And the website that goes along with that, the Institute for Humane Education, has you can create a free account, you, know, you can sign in, and there's loads of resources that's fantastic another one is worldwide learning by Carla Marshall and Elizabeth Crawford and they have also a site that accompanies that and fantastic incredibly fantastic resources for K to 8 but really you can scale it up I think for all age levels that's fantastic another book that I love that I read over the summer is called start here start now um, and it's a guide to uh, anti-racist anti-bias work in schools by Liz Kleinrock and that one is really concrete you know, how can I actually do this? How can I get buy-in from administrators, parents, students? How do I hold space and time for it? And it's filled with resources. Incredible. Another one that's incredible is the book and all associated resources, um, Donut Economics. Yeah, Kate Rayworth. So I saw her again the other night in a webinar. Just fantastic. The book is fantastic, but she also has been in lots of podcasts. And you can sign up to be part of the, the, the Donut Economics Lab online and connect with community there and see what other people are doing and get lots of resources over there. So that's, I just think, fantastic. And to expose students students to those patients. Lots of um, resources there and the aim to get students using Compass Education tools. And so you can follow them and they have loads of courses that you can sign up for and lots of them are available virtually now because of um, where we've come and where we've moved to in the global world. So, and I could go on and on. And thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I know we'll be talking to you again sometime soon because you've got so much to share.